Hey, what's up guys? My name is Ethan. Welcome back to another video of Skyrim Special Edition. I'm at this location here where there was a giant attack of uh, the Thalmor and goblins were all attacking this place. Um, there's actually some people here actually defending this uh, tower and we already have one of the uh, one of the automatic bows I've come here to look for um, and there should be another two inside. Looks like we have a trap door here to the cellar. And I'm just going to go ahead and go inside, reach Windspire. See if the other bows in here. I think there's three in total. Um, let's actually get the bow out. Okay, so here's the ammunition. Dwemer Bolt Magazine. Oh my god, that thing looks brutal. And the, twi the Dwemer Poly. Poly. Boss. Bolost, however you say that. So it looks like we just have a very basic tower. What's that? Large Dwemer stuff? I don't know. Ah, here's the other one. The, oh, ah, this one is the automatic one. So I don't think this one's automatic. <laughs> Oh wow, okay, this one is automatic. So there's another automatic one here. I think one of them is semi-automatic, but we haven't found that one yet. Which we don't really want that one. I've come here for an automatic bow. Right, and this looks like it's gonna take us onto some kind of balcony. I don't really know where to go to test out these bows. Um, ah, what we can do, we can go to Solitude. Um, we won't take the Scarlet, we won't dock the Scarlet there. Um, but I'm just going to fast travel over to Solitude because there's another pirate quest we can do. Which I think takes us to a unique island. Uh, so we can get that started. I don't know if we'll finish it. I, I doubt we'll finish it this video, but yeah, we can get it started. All right, yeah, there was nothing much up here. Oh, I'm gonna fall. There we go. So there was also a trap door leading down to the cellar. Checking no one's coming. Get out my white rock. All right, we can also go down to the cellar. Okay. Salmon meat, salt piles. Oh, I won't take that. Ah. Okay, well. These chests are really empty. I just opened that because I love the animation. Uh, Alright, maybe it's in here. No, nope, this is empty as well. And there's a bed behind here. That's about it. So I don't know where the third boat is. Uh, but we've, like I said, we've come here for the automatic one. And I've got two of them now. So um, let's fire a few shots around. It does use up, we have 40 shots. And that's not 40 times we can shoot, that's 40 arrows we can shoot. And about, I don't know, seven arrows come out at a time. So let's fire this thing, I guess. Ah, there we go, we have a target. Three, two, one. And I completely missed. <laughs> that was embarrassing. Right, where's that other bow? I know we have two. Maybe the other ones. Um, let me find it. Ah, my target's run off now. Where have those goats gone? There you are. Come back, goat. Oh my god, this thing is so brutal. There we go. 
kill the goat, get some of our ammo, ammo back. I don't know where the rest has gone. But yeah, we're already down to 30 ammo, so we've used up about 10, 10 shots already. So when you're actually doing this, you either want to have, actually using this bow, you either have loads of ammo or you, you uh, decide and dedicate yourself to picking up all the ammunition after firing it. Ah, there we go. Such an easy kill with this gun, honestly. I'm actually going to switch to the other one. I think I prefer the other one. Just the way it looks. It's got the barrel. You can actually see the barrel on it. Yeah, down to 23 shots. <laughs> ah, where did, where did the goat go? Oh, I've already passed it. Ah, there's another goat. Stop making me waste my ammunition. Oh, right in his butthole. <laughs> right, let's stop killing goats now. I'm sorry, that, that's actually quite funny. <laughs> Look at all the bolts going right up its, right up its ass. All right, now we're only we only have 19. Uh, what are they called? 19, not arrows. Uh, dwar uh, not dwarven. Uh, 19 bolts left. There we go. So, I don't know if we'll be able to finish it this video, but we can at least start the quest. And to start it, we need to go to Solitude. Um, and actually, at Solitude, I'm actually going to wait to see if my follower shows up. In fact, I can actually put a marker on her. Right, and I can see where she is in the world. Wow. She's nowhere to be seen. Okay then. I have put a marker on her. But there's no marker on the map. Which is strange. So, I, she's gone somewhere. Anyway guys. Let's go to Solitude. I think we need to go Solitude Docks. So uh, I think if we go East Empire Company Warehouse, uh, Solitude East Gate. Let's just fast travel here. Right, I'll meet you guys there. All right, guys. I completely forgot where a fast travelled spawns me inside Solitude. For some reason, I thought it was going to spawn me just outside the gate. Um, so yeah, let's let's go back out. Also, I had three notifications, two of which I could resolve. One, I had to send a message uh, about copyright. Apparently, three of my older videos, I think episode number five and episode number 37 or 30 something. Uh, so there's three episodes uh, that apparently had copyright music in. I managed to resolve two and it said it's going to take the music out. Hopefully, it's going to take the music out and not just delete that whole bit of video where this where it picked up the song um, so I'll have to look back on that and I've just realized I do have the uh, Game of Thrones music running in the background so hopefully that isn't copyright uh, or, or even if it is let's just hope the uh, YouTube doesn't pick it up on upload um, it's quite nice they didn't give me a copyright strike they actually let me know so yeah I'm going to look back and see what it did to the video. I, can, I can't imagine it would actually delete all of that part, which was about 27 seconds long on, I think, episode 5. Hopefully it just takes out the music, which I don't, I'm not sure how it would go about doing that. But let's just, let's just hope it all goes okay. So, don't, oh, I hate doing this. I like to go the normal way. Alright, back here. This is where we belong. I love this build so far. This is probably one of my favourite builds so far. Ooh, and then probably the Arcane Archer. The Arcane Archer was really good. And also one that I really didn't want to do was probably another one that I really enjoyed. That was the Mage build. That was good. And then probably the Thief build. I enjoyed that the least. I don't really know why. It kind of dragged for a bit. And it kind of got a bit boring. <laughs> anyway, so we have to speak to this guard to start the mission here. Nothing for you in the warehouse. So why don't you take a walk? 
The warehouse is for East Empire Company workers only. Entering without permission is a crime. Uh, what is this place? This is the East Empire Company Central Warehouse. All of their shipments go through here. Unfortunately, thanks to some problems they've been having, it hasn't seen much use lately. Either way, it's off limits to you. What kind of problems is the East Empire Company having? How should I know? I'll work for them. If you want to help, I suppose you could head to Windelm and talk to Orthus and Dario. He's in charge over there. Alright, so we've got to go to Windhelm, talk to Orthius and Dario. Okay then, like I said, I was actually going to wait for my follower to show up. So let's wait 24 hours, see if she shows up. Guys, this one, this video is actually going to have to be fairly short. I am sorry that it's going to be a short video. Uh, there's nothing I can do about that though. <laughs> wow, my follower has not made it to me. What a disappointment. She must be stuck underground. I don't know why it's not showing me a marker if she is. I don't know what I'm going to do, I'm going to have to go and find her. Um, or just get a new crew member. She might have died actually thinking about it. I completely forgot, but that's a possibility. Anyway, uh, we have to go to Windhelm, so... I don't really want to fast travel from Solitude. There's a high likelihood it will crash. So I'm actually just going to... I'm gonna just going to swim off. Very quickly. Oh wow, narwhals! There's narwhals here! Narwhal, narwhal... Whatever that song goes. Something they'll bite your balls. There's like some narwhal song on the internet. Anyway, yeah, there's some narwhals here swimming around the docks, that's cool. Right, let me just get away from solitude so we don't crash. That should be alright. Um, I might have told you this before guys, but I have decided when we do the survival build um, that's if we ever get to that. Um, just, I'm actually going to choose on this, um, not sorry, not build, playthrough. Uh, on this playthrough, I'm going to go with the, um, what's it called? I'm going to go with um, the Storm Cloaks on the, um, I've completely forgot the name, on the mission. <laughs> I got, uh, what's, what's it called? It's, um, I've completely forgot what's it called. Anyway, yeah, anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna side with the storm cloaks on this playthrough, and I'm also going to become a vampire. So when we do the survival build, I'm actually gonna go ahead and go with the Imperials. I said build again, didn't I? I meant playthrough. Uh, I'm gonna go with uh, the Imperials, and also I'm gonna go against the vampires. So that's another thing I want to do. Um, so anything we do on this playthrough that's like a big uh, multiple choice thing, we'll do the opposite on the survival playthrough. Right, I need to, do I need to get inside of the walls? I think I need to go inside. No, I don't. I think there's a docks around here. i got to jump off though, which I... Ah. Uh, 
Right, can I just, excuse me, can I just come up here? Thank you very much. Ah, right, so the building is uh, right here. East Empire Company. So it looks like they, uh, they're spread quite widely across Skyrim. Alright, I need to speak to this dude, who's in this very worn down looking building. I know this place looks horrible. Yeah, Please, damn right. Don't hold it against the company. Uh, why is it so run down? Sad, isn't it? We can't afford to keep the place running since these attacks started. Pirates, you see. Raiding all along the coast, from Hammerfell to Vardenfell. Only the Shatter Shields appear safe. Uh, who are the Shatter Shields? A very powerful family in Windhelm. They run a private shipping operation and would love to have the docks to themselves. Wouldn't surprise me if they were in league with the pirates somehow. Do you have any proof of that? Not yet, no. But perhaps an intrepid person such as yourself could help with that? They have a dark elf who oversees their operations, Suverus Atherin. She's meticulous to a fault and keeps a logbook with every transaction she makes. If it were to somehow end up in my hands, I wouldn't argue. Uh, what else can you tell me about these pirates? They call themselves the Blood Hawkers. They've been around as long as I can remember, but only recently focused on our ships. A dastardly group, but they're more than simple brigands. Shrewd, clever, not to be trifled with. Uh, why not fight back? Our own security forces are limited, and all the mercenaries are tied up in this ridiculous war. We don't yeah, the Civil War questline, that was what I was looking for, the word. attacking single there ships won't really solve the problem. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.